Hi, and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name's Ashley, and today I am bringing you part two of my laundry slash mudroom makeover. And we're gonna be putting some finishing touches in the laundry room, making some DIYs, and basically doing my favorite part, which is decorating and bringing the whole look all together. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that little notification bell, and in the drop down menu, click all so you're notified about all notifications. I upload videos a few times a month, and of course, coming into the fall season, I have lots of ideas on how to make your home ready for autumn. So definitely stay tuned. All right, so let's get into part two of this makeover and let's see how I brought this room all together. Plus, stay till the end to see our baby girl's name reveal. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so just as a refresher, this is what the laundry room was looking like before. And I do have a part one. I will link it in the description box below and at the end of this video. So definitely check that out to see the progress that we made up until this point. So I also took this back wall and I tiled it with some 3D wall tiles from Kamami and look how amazing that looks. Also in the first video, I painted that cabinet, got it hung and that shelf. So now we're gonna start basically on the other side of the room where like the mud area is. So that's what I'm gonna be attacking in this video and of course, like I said, bringing the whole look all together. So I had some of these hooks and shelves on this wall and so these are coming down and we do like having something there to hang our spare keys on or like an extra mask or something and then we like having a little shelf to put my husband's wallet, sunglasses and just stuff like that. And then of course we have to have hooks, big hooks for coats, purses, bags, stuff like that. So I am trying to do this whole room makeover on a budget. And so you're gonna see that I'm actually going to be repurposing a lot of the stuff that I already had in my home or in this room. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this uh, wall hang thing off, off the wall. And this came with the house, this was already there. So I thought that maybe I could just reuse this and I wouldn't have to buy new hooks or anything. So what I decided to do was actually paint this whole wood plaque and I started off by sanding it down because it did have like that shiny um, finish to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down just to rough it up so the paint will stick. And then I'm going to um, wipe it up so that way it's nice and smooth and clean. But I am gonna keep it a little bit damp from when I go to paint it. Now the paint that I'm using is actually the same white paint that I used on the cabinet because I wanted everything to match. So I figured, you know what, I am just going to use all the same paint in this whole video so i did end up giving this i think like two or three coats i know at least two and i want to apologize for my feet i'm the epitome of barefoot and pregnant i just like being barefoot it's just it just i don't know i just love being barefoot so i apologize all right now i lost the footage but i did go ahead and spray paint the hooks that I took off of this and I just spray painted it with some black glossy spray paint. It's what I already had in my garage so that's what I used. So now after those hooks dried, I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to put the hooks back on. And that's how easy of an upgrade this was. And look, I didn't even have to go buy anything and I got to use what I already had and I just love doing that. So here I am actually painting the baseboards, and I know that sounds silly, but they were coming off the wall anyway, so my husband just grabbed them for me, and I'm just painting this with that same black paint that I painted my shelves, and I know black is harsh, but in my first video I explained that my husband's the one that does the laundry room, he spends most of the time in there, so I really wanted to make this room masculine and not so cutesy cutesy, so I decided to do some black accents, besides black accents are actually coming in. <laughs> All right, so now I uh, listed, enlisted my husband with helping me starting to hang stuff on this mud room side. So he's gonna go ahead and hang that um, hook 
thing back up and because we took it off this wall there were already holes so he's just simply going to hang it back up and then on top of this we're actually going to hang a shelf that I painted in the first video I painted two shelves one went on the laundry area and now this one is gonna go right here in the mud room area I guess there was a lot of projects in this room like this whole corner was one project and then the laundry area was another project and then that wall the brick tile wall was another project so there was lots of things going on now ignore all the holes <laughs> we don't have a stud finder so we kind of had to you know like basically bang a nail in to try to find the studs um this is going to be covered with the shelf so don't worry it's not going to be seen now there are some patches that i do have to do that i didn't get to um but i do have to find the paint in the basement i just honestly did not feel like going down there and trying to find it so one day i'll patch those things up but i just did not feel like doing it today <laughs> or at this point i just wanted to get this done keep please keep in mind i i said this in the first video but at this point i'm seven almost seven months pregnant and have covid so i was kind of running low on energy anyways but i am so happy with the results and thank you for all your well wishes in the last video all the comments i am feeling so much better and you could probably tell by my voice that i am doing so much better and the baby's all good and everything they weren't even concerned it was a very mild case of covid so yeah <laughs> um all right so now you can see that i actually stuck those little baskets up top that's because we had to um find out like kind of where i wanted this safety pin hung safety pin have a special meaning in my family so i've had this safety pin for years so i definitely wanted to incorporate it so these little bins I just got from the Dollar Tree, nothing crazy. Um, in one of them, there's masks in there in case we would ever need them. And then in another one, there's my dog's leashes and little jackets and things, <laughs> little sweaters to go outside. And then there's actually an empty one up there. So um, I have room to put more things. But I just thought, hey, you know what? More storage, it can't hurt. So now my husband's just going through and just nailing in this um, safety pin and I am so glad I found a spot for it because like I said, safety pins have a special meaning in our family and I really wanted to represent it. So now I'm just kind of going through and putting in some finishing touches. I did spray paint this outlet cover and there was another outlet cover and I totally forgot to record but I also spray painted the lighting light fixture it was silver so i just spray painted it black and doing those little touches really really help bring up the room and tie it all together these little upgrades so you don't have to spend a ton of money going out buying new things just buy one can of spray paint and look how much i've done with that black can of spray paint i mean it took me so far so now my baseboards are dry so he's gonna go ahead and nail those back in and that was just an easy easy thing just to nail nail in and I did do all the baseboards so there's some baseboards behind the door baseboards on the other wall where like the mud area is so he's just gonna be my handy little helper and tack those in All right, so back to the mud area. You can see the little scuffs on the wall there. That's just gonna have to be <laughs> fixed another day. But I did wanna go ahead and give this a good sweep and um, clean up any sawdust because you know we did just hang the shelves and the hooks. And now I'm gonna move this cubby um, back into the corner. I bought this at the beginning of the year and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it coming up now. So, real quick, sorry, I'm out of breath. Real quick, I wanna show you this bench that I bought. It's actually a toy bench for kids. I'll drop the link in the description box below. But um, this was the only thing that I could get that fit that I liked because I wanted something that opened, but I also wanted something with drawers, sorry, with drawers because this is actually perfect for like our hats and gloves in the winter time. Um, and it came with this gray um, uh, piece right here. So I really love it. Oops, I probably should have cleaned it. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna have to do one more big vacuum. Um. Anyway, it's where all of our shoes are. So I really love it. Um. It is small, but like I said, I really have no choice. I mean, I really didn't have a lot of option because I had to get something that fit. And then I liked how these were cream 
colored as well. And like I said, this is like hats, gloves, things like that in the um, winter because of course, Ohio. So, and we moved in in the winter. So I had like that at the top of my head anyways. But I really love it. It's um, great to sit on too, to put your shoes on. Obviously I don't really sit, but my daughter sits and puts her stuff on. So I will leave the link in the description box below. It came from Amazon. I honestly don't remember how much it was, but if I remember, I'll leave the link. <laughs> So I definitely love this little toy box bench thing. I'm really happy that we got it. All right, so now we're going to make a very simple DIY to cover up the electrical box. Now, I've heard different things about covering up the electrical box, but I think as long as it's very easy to access, I think it's okay. And I have seen a lot of people do it. So here's what I had to keep in mind though. Mine was very long. So I had a very hard time trying to find something to cover it. Now I had this frame already. It was at my mom's house and I could not believe that this actually fit over it. So what I'm doing now is I am just measuring the inside uh, with a piece of poster board and I'm just gonna cut it down so this piece of poster board just fits right inside the frame. I also needed something to be very skinny because this kind of goes behind the doors like you're gonna see it doesn't look proportional to the wall because our washer and dryer stick out but it technically is in the middle of the wall and it, you just can't tell because the washer and dryer are stacked and they stick out so much but I needed it to be skinny so that way my husband didn't constantly bump it every time he would open the doors to the washer and dryer. And then I also needed something lightweight and just easy to just put one nail in. That way, if we ever needed to access the electrical panel, we can easily take this off and access, you know, get into where we need to for the electric. So um, this is gonna be very, very simple. It's really not my style. You know me, I love the rustic look and everything. But again, masculine and I just kind of, you know, went with what I found I did. I've actually had these decals and I kind of forgot about them. And I got these at the Dollar Tree. So right now what I'm doing, these are two different sheets of decals. But I'm just cutting it all up individually because I'm just going to lay them out. And at first I was going to put them on the glass, which is why I'm laying them out while this uh, poster board's on, a gl on the glass. But you're gonna see that I actually take the poster board out and put it actually in the poster board. Now, I do think that in the future, I'm actually gonna go to Hobby Lobby or someplace like that and get a black mat to go, um, to go around this just to kind of add um, some character, like more character to it. I don't know, I just, you're gonna, if you've been following me for a while, you're gonna know this is not my style. It is just so simple and it's just so plain Jane, but you know, for, for the purpose that this serves, I think it's good enough. And hey, it hides my electrical box and that was the whole point. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and it's as easy as peeling off all the words and sticking them down. Now, of course, in true Ashley fashion, this isn't gonna be even, it's not gonna be perfect, but um, I really do love how this sign came out. And like I said, it served the purpose of hiding the box. So it is what it is. <laughs> Real quick, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you're new, thank you so much for choosing to stop by today. I truly hope that you love what you see. And hey, stick around with me for a while by clicking that subscribe button. I am so close to 20,000 subscribers and I would love to meet that goal by the time our baby girl is due in October. So please click that button to join the family. If you're returning, thank you so much for choosing to come back. I really hope that you love part two. Don't forget part one will be in the description box and it will be at the end of this video. So I definitely think you should watch it just to see the progress that we made and all the work we did in just a couple days to bring this laundry room to look like what it does today. And I'm so excited and so happy with the results. So once my poster board was done, I just put the whole thing back together and that was that. All right, so next up, I took this little Ray Dunn um, sh hooks thing off of my wall and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna redo this. I We honestly don't use this for leashes and stuff like that. So it kind of didn't make sense. So I thought I would just make it like a generic hook thing. I didn't really have to do much, but I did have to cover that woof on there and the paw print. So what I'm doing is just taking it all apart 
And then again, by using that same white paint that I've been using, I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint over this. Now, I did rough it up a little bit with some sandpaper because I just did not think that it was the paint would stick because this is like metal. But I did give this three coats to completely cover up the words. And then that big wood piece that I actually took this off of, I also painted that with the white too. That way it was all cohesive. And then the piece in the middle was actually already black. So that was perfect. So you can tell that I'm, you know, going kind of with like the whites and blacks and grays. So that actually um, worked out perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint these pieces, let them dry. And then once they are dry, we're going to head up to the craft room because I'm going to show you how I finished off this piece. And oh my goodness, it was so easy. And this is why I said, do not go buy new stuff. Just use what you have and just repurpose it. All right. So now all my pieces are dry. So now I'm just simply going to go ahead and drill my screws back in. And these were just the same screws that came out of it. And then I found this perfect little metal piece that I actually pulled off of another DIY or decor piece from the Dollar Tree. Now, I probably should have put some super glue on here because, you know, metal and hot glue doesn't mix. For now, I just used hot glue, but it seems to be working i don't know maybe in a couple days it might fall off and i'll have to throw some super glue but i love the galvanized look because it broke up all the black and white as well so how easy was that upgrade all right so next i'm actually going to take this chalkboard that i found in my stash and i was racking my brain for days about my daughter's like she needs a hook to hang her coat and her uh, book bag on when school starts and I want to get her in the habit of doing that so but I didn't want it to look so childish and kiddish and I wanted it to go with my theme so when I found this chalkboard in my stash I was thinking chalkboard is like cute for kids but I can also paint this to fit my style in there so I thought it was a good mixture of both so what I did was just paint this in two coats of the of just white Waverly chalk paint. And I have another one because, of course, we're going to have another little girl in October. So I figured, you know what, I might as well just make her one too because then we can put her diaper bag and little sweaters and things on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same. Now, no, these two do not match, but I kind of like it because it's two different girls and, you know, I'm sure two different personalities. So I thought, I don't know, I kind of liked that. Then I went ahead and cut out Amelia's name on the Cricut and I'm positioning it. Now this hook I actually did buy from Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99 but 50% off. So one, so like $2. So I didn't think that was bad. And you know what? I needed a good solid hook for this. So right now I was just trying to position everything on. So I'm going to go ahead and put her name on and I just printed this off on some removable vinyl I should have done permanent vinyl but um, I wasn't thinking and then I just kind of fixed it you can see a couple of the letters came off in the hearts so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix it and then all there's left to do is just drill that hook at the bottom now I did have to be careful because this wood is very very thin so I'm really hoping that it holds up so far it looks like it, it'll be okay and you'll see the final results at the end now I did put a name on the other one but you're gonna have to wait till the end to see it yes I know I'm making you wait I'm sorry but I just thought it'd be a fun little bonus for the end of this video all right, so now I'm going to go ahead and screw these in. And I actually painted, these were silver screws, and I painted the heads of them black. So that way it would um, blend in. So it did kind of poke out the back a little bit, the screws. And I probably didn't have to do this, but I was just afraid about, like, scratching up the walls. So I took a, this is just the best idea I could come up with. I took a popsicle stick, and I cut it down so it fit. And then I broke it in half long ways so that way it didn't hang over and then I just simply hot glued it over the um, screws where they're sticking out in the back now this did make a difference when I hung it on the wall of course because it's that extra little piece so I may or may not have to do this I don't know I don't think it hurt but you know all right, so then I got this little shadow box, and this was actually a DIY that I did before. So I already had the back of this covered with scrapbook paper, and that scrapbook paper just came from Hobby Lobby, and I just Mod Podged it on. And then this was the other end of that decal. So I was like, you know what, I, I want to use this. I should use it. I have it. 
So I just simply peeled the stick and put it on there and it was easy as that. This is your friendly reminder that if you love what you see so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Not only does it really help my channel to grow, but it tells YouTube you love what you see and you want to see more. So smash that like button. All right, lastly, I had this little basket and it was like the oil rubbed bronze color. So I just took my black spray paint and I spray painted this to match everything else. And this is going to be perfect for holding wallets and sunglasses and little things like that. So again, a very easy free upgrade because I already had this and the paint. All right, now it's time to start putting this room together. So first we're going to start off with that big sign that I made to cover this electrical panel. So I'm going to hang it right there. And like I said, it was a perfect fit. It covers it completely. You can't even tell. So I'm really happy with how that came out. And hey, it served its purpose. And now I got my husband again. And he's going to start hanging all of my DIYs on the mud area corner. So he's going to go ahead and start with that um, Ray Dunn piece that I redid, the Bless Our Home. So he's going to go ahead and put that up. And we did use the tape method. We love using that method. It is so easy to do. And look, he didn't have to like use a ruler or anything to measure. He knew exactly where to put the um, screws. And then at the bottom, or underneath that, he's going to put this basket. And again, he just used, you know, I believe he did use anchors for this because the screws weren't uh, long enough. Yeah, see, it just fell right off. <laughs> so he's going to go ahead and put an anchor in this. And we kind of like came up with our own ways on how to do things, I think. I don't know if this is right or wrong, but, you know, being newer homeowners, this is, I mean, we owned a home before, so we are just learning things. But um, we're getting a lot more into DIYs and, you know, projects on our own. So, but yeah, so he's just going to go ahead and hang this little basket. And then next to that, I found this love sign in my stash. It's from the Dollar Tree and I really loved it because I like the greenery and it just kind of broke up all of the black and white. So I just felt like something was necessary to put there to kind of fill in that space, but also to add a little pop of color. So next he's going to go ahead and hang um, the one name sign and we did hang the other one right next to it which you'll see at the end so hang in there we're almost there I promise but you did put anchors in and then there were already two holes at the top from where like a twine hanger were so I just went ahead and we just used those holes and then he's adding screws to the bottom as well just for extra support now of course those ones are silver so I had to go in and with my paint pen I just colored them in and it all matched perfectly all right so moving on to the other side it is now finally time to decorate the laundry side so what i wanted to do first was give this sink a good scrub there was like paint in it and it was dirty and kind of gross so i just went ahead and i used this um silver um i know there's a name for it drop it down below um scouring scouring pad <laughs> you guys know that I don't I'm not good at names <laughs> for some stuff um but I just yeah I just went ahead and I scrubbed this down I was just using Dawn dish soap I didn't really know what to use but I just went very simple and even I scrubbed that faucet and it really um like kind of brightened it up a little bit so yeah so I really loved how that came out so now I'm just kind of drying it up and then we're gonna move to the top of my cabinet and decorate that so this cabinet's kind of lower because of course I'm short so I was thinking about it I'm like geez I have all that room up there I think I want to decorate it so this three-piece riser set I actually got from Target dollar spot and it was 50% off so those that three-piece set was 250 now that clean bucket actually came from TJ Maxx or home goods and it is Ray done I stuck some greenery in it just to add some color 
Then this big jar came from Target Dollar Spot and I just added some dryer balls in it. We don't actually use dryer balls so I thought it'd be cute for decor. Now that big clothespin um, on the side, the black one, that actually came from Hobby Lobby. Then I just added a jar of smaller actual clothing pins. And then this sign that I showed, it says laundry on it, was a two pack from Target Dollar Spot at the beginning of the year. So I had been collecting stuff all along to do this little remodel. So I already had a bunch of stuff in my stash. So right now I'm just kind of going through and literally just rearranging everything how I liked it. So I'm just going to kind of let you watch my process. I do end up adding another glass jar that has the scent booster in it because we don't really use that either. So I thought, hey, you know what? I have it. Why not use it for decor? But I'm just going to let the music play and let you watch my process. Okay, so this was how the final look was, and I absolutely love it up here. I don't think it's too much. I think it's just enough, and it's stuck with the theme. So now it's time to go ahead and actually put things in the cabinet. Now, don't judge me. I couldn't find my vacuum um, attachment to uh, vacuum like this out. So <laughs> you're going to see I actually find it at the end, which you'll see in a little bit. But don't judge me. Anyway, so now I just wiped it down. And now I'm just going to add these um, containers. And I just got these from the Dollar Tree. One of them has just random cleaning products in it. Um, the other one has like my Swiffer pads and the Swiffer liquids in it. So I just thought that this was a perfect place to put that stuff. And then I just have some extra bleach cleaning stuff and, um, you know, stuff in that. So just the stuff you don't really want out but you still need. So it all fit perfectly. Now, moving down to the shelf, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down. I did make this shelf, which you can catch in part one. This little laundry sign actually came from the Target dollar spot again at the beginning of the year because, like I said, I'd been, I'd been buying things all this time to do this makeover. And so then I'm going to add my liquid detergent, my laundry detergent, and then that was just the cap from the Tide bottle that, of course, I spray painted black so it all fit in. And in that spray bottle, there's Shout, and then I have my dryer sheets, and then that little jar is just for loose change. So I'm just going to kind of play with this shelf, get it to how I like it. If you want to know where any of this stuff came from, catch part one. That's when I um, explained where everything came from and put my labels on and everything. Then these little uh, screws or whatever were really bugging me, so I just went ahead and took the paint and painted over them. All right, now I just recently bought these pumps in the target dollar spot it was a two pack for five dollars so i'm simply just going to go ahead and use the soap that i already had and put the soap right on the sink and i thought that that was perfect and then my husband did actually request some paper towels so i already had this paper towel holder so i'm just going to go ahead and drill it in and give him his paper towels <laughs> so that was honestly the one request he had besides like the soaps and stuff but you know if it were up to him he doesn't care what the laundry room looks like he's a guy it doesn't matter but i don't know i just felt like i wanted to do it because i just wanted it to look nice so now just adding my paper towel and now he has his little area and then we always have a trash can under here now I'm going to bring this hamper in and I already have this hamper it's black and it's white perfect now we're going to go ahead and move behind the door and this is a rack that actually came from our garage and now we're going to use it to hang our broom our Swiffer dustpan stuff like that so he's just going to go ahead and get that securely on there
Then next to that, this shelf was actually on the other side, and I had him, had him move it behind the door to put our vacuum attachments in it. Surprise, I found them, <laughs> finally. They were all hiding underneath my cap, underneath my sink cabinet in my bathroom. So I was like, oh, I know what I could do with this shelf. So, and it worked out perfectly. And all the attachments are going to be right in there when I need them. And then you'll see in the final reveal, the vacuum will just be sitting kind of leaning up against the wall and there's an outlet so it can uh, charge. And um, then that's it. I added a few rugs and that was it. I absolutely loved how this came out. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below. What do you think?
I am absolutely obsessed with this laundry room slash mud room makeover. I think that it turned out so amazing. I only did this in the course of a couple days and uh, it's functional. It's pretty it's so it's just so nice and i really really love it so please let me know your thoughts down below i want to thank you so much for joining me today if you haven't done so already please don't forget to hit that subscribe button smash that thumbs up and hey until i see you again i'll room makeover and diy with you soon bye